Hi, my name's Dan Sweeney. Uh, I've just turned 16 and I've been kiting for about three and a half years and I'm an advanced rider. Well, for, for learning any move, you just got to be confident. Uh, you got to commit. If you're not committed, you'll like hurt yourself or break your kit. So, um, yeah, you just got to fully commit and know your trick inside out. Like, keep watching slow motion videos of like pro riders doing the trick. Um, yeah, just completely get your head around it so you know it inside out, and eventually you'll pick it up. If you can get it on video, it really helps. Then you can just see where you're going wrong, what to improve on, stuff like that. So, yeah, it all helps. If Lewis or Aaron are out down here, it just makes you want to learn new stuff. Step your riding up. Um, anything, watching DVDs, videos, wakeboarding, skating, biking, anything. Having it nice and powered, keeping your kite low, looks real good. Um, but also high winds, kite loops, jumps. Keep like all the old grannies down here watching happy. So. Uh, SBN Pass is kind of a recent thing of getting consistently. Well, to start with, you want to be able to do like a powered rally. So that's like the first step to an SBN. Um, and then once you start doing that, maybe going straight for like, kind of like an un unhooked front roll. Um, and then once you get better and better at that trick, your legs will get more, more inverted and you'll be doing a proper SBN. Then after that, you want to start doing an SBN to blind. It's quite a hard trick to learn just because you've got to be really unbalanced and if you rush it too much then you can like over rotate, catch an edge and you just got to keep yourself real locked in, don't you let, let your legs go all floppy um, and don't rush the S-Bend. What I was doing like last year when I was first learning it is just you rush it too much and when you're landing blind you're like off axis and you end up crashing so just keep it really controlled um, and keep going at it. So. Once you've got the S Bend to blind, you want to start um, maybe getting a bit more height and power. So make sure you keep your kite low. If your kite starts going high, then it's going to be harder to pass. Just throw yourself into the S Bend and really throw your throw your body weight around and use your head and your shoulders to um, get the momentum going. And then once you start trying it, you'll probably get the pass on your first go, whether or not you land it or not. I don't know, but um, just all about the momentum. Really throwing your body weight around, passing the bar keeping it really nice and close in so you can get like a nice controlled landing. I've only just started to get it as a consistent trick, like I'll, I'll be happy to go to the next event and pull it out and maybe like halfway through my heat or whatever, but it's taken quite a while. Um, once you know you can do the trick, if you go out in the next session knowing that you can do it, you're more likely to like go out in your first run and just land it, so just yeah, get your head around the trick and keep going. <laughs>